In this video, I will show you how to create a custom drop-down menu, set parameters, and style it. Let's get started! You can find the drop-down menu widget under the Widgets tab in the Controller group. Let's create one. You can freely move and resize the drop-down menu by holding down the left mouse button. Alternatively, you can set its width and height directly within the Inspector tab. This widget consists of two parts the main part, which appears at the top, and the list main which contains the options. We'll modify the parameters for these later. In the Inspector tab, you can edit and expand the list elements in the Options text field. Let's type some text at the beginning. As you can see, the entered text immediately appears in the widget's main text field. To separate the options, press Enter. Let's select all the options and copy them twice to have more choices. Now, if we switch to play mode, you'll see that we can scroll through the menu and a scroll bar has appeared on the right. You can use the list align to position the drop-down list in different places. For now, let's keep it at the bottom. The base text represents the text that will always appear in the main text row. In the style settings group, we can modify the style parameters for the drop-down menu. This section has five parts. Style main styles the fixed top element of the drop-down. Style indicator modifies the arrow symbol generated in the default font. Style list main contains the drop-down menu options. Style list scroll bar allows modification of the right side scroll bar. Style list selected represents the currently selected option. In the style main group, open the text font drop-down. The text font automatically adjusts the widget's height based on the font size. Let's set it to a font size of 22. For the border, choose a brown color. In the Style Indicator section, set the symbol color to brown as well. In the List Main group, adjust the font size to 22 to maintain consistency with the main text. Add a slight shadow to the list main so that it appears slightly raised. You can do this by clicking on the shadow drop-down. Set the shadow color to the light orange theme color with a shadow width of 25 and a shadow Y of 5. In the List Scroll Bar group, set the background color to brown. Finally, in the List Selected group, Set the text color to white and the background color to orange. Also, set the background radius to 10. Now let's quickly check what we've created. Switch to play mode, scroll through the options, and select one. Overall, I'm satisfied with the result, but there's one more thing missing modifying the drop-down states. When I click on the widget, I want the main background color to briefly turn orange. Additionally, the main border, indicator, and list selected background should also turn orange in the checked state. To achieve this, go to the Inspector tab, find the State drop-down menu, and switch it to Pressed. Change the main background color to light orange. Next, switch to the Checked State. In the Style main section, set the border color to orange, and do the same for the indicator color. Scroll down to the List Selected group and change the background color to orange. Now, when you switch to Play mode, you'll see that the mentioned adjustments have taken effect. Our drop-down widget is now complete. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified about our latest videos on time.